Hey everybody, so I am very excited. Today we have a special guest and they are bringing together like-minded individuals on knowledge management. They are inspiring people to get involved in knowledge management, to go back to school, helping to inspire and mentor and help people get jobs. It's a really fantastic story. And Gladys is the person who's going to be talking to us today. And she is really a knowledge manager ambassador. She is really focused on the folks that she is working with in her region, but this is not just one region. This is something that I know is happening across the globe. And if you or somebody you know is doing work in this space, please leave it in the comments below because this, I really hope, inspires people to make that network of KM engineers, KM mentors, people that are trying to inspire and help in this space. So with that, let's go get started. Uh, thank you so much, Ashley. Uh, my name is Gladys Kemboe. I'm a Kenyan. I'm a knowledge uh, management specialist. I uh, worked in the KM sector for the last uh, eight years. Currently, I work in the development sector at Life in Abundance. And um, during my free time, I'm part of the KM for Dev uh, team, where I work as one of the editorial board member and uh, part of the team organizing the knowledge caves. Yeah. Apart from that, um, I'm one of the members of the Global Knowledge Partnership Network, where I created to allow room for young professionals in Africa and uh, development practitioners who are passionate in knowledge management, where I engage in um, empowering them and um, taking them through mentorship program on how they can access learning opportunities in the larger ecosystem. And amazing because it just started at uh, 2020 and now it has it has crowd uh, like uh, in Facebook, we have around 800 members uh, and on WhatsApp group, we have um, around 50 people who are in various parts of the Africa. So we have teams from Botswana University. We have Kenyan universities, uh, members from the Kenyan universities. We have from South Africa, we have from Nigeria, we have from Zimbabwe and South Sudan. And all these, all these people we meet through um, social media platforms yeah? and like mm -hmm. someone requests, okay, mender me on how I can be a great uh, knowledge manager, yeah. So it's so amazing. And last year, uh, when I was graduating in my university at Chomo uh, University, where I was being uh, given an award for being most of the influential uh, knowledge management ambassador in Kenya in Pio, it was so exciting because yeah, seeing the kind of the impact that they have done to various um, KM practitioners in Africa, it's so amazing, yeah. And championing knowledge management agenda in Kenya, yeah. So, so Gladys is, is basically saying she's a rock star because you are, you're doing such great work. I, you know, I have to say to, to the audience that we had just met, we just had some brief conversations, but in that brief amount of time, you are just this shining star of, of amazing work in this knowledge graph space. You were doing so much for so many great things. And I love that you have such a positive story that social media, uh, it, it's very much a double-edged sword. There's a lot of bad things that can happen, a lot of you know not so nice things on social media, but you can also use it to really reach, you know, reach out, talk to new people, gather people together that you could never do before. All right, so Gladys, how did you get involved in, in knowledge management? My knowledge management journey began in 2014. That's when I lost my job. <laughs> I lost my job because of my smile. Like, yeah, so there was one of the trainer who recommended like, yeah, I have a beautiful smile. Uh, but by then I was working in a library and uh, when I lost the opportunity, I went back to school. Um, mm -hmm to pursue knowledge management. And like, I didn't want to do anything to deal with library or uh, records management because I was so Peter, like how I lost this opportunity. I didn't do anything wrong. So yeah. so when I went to school, like I just wanted to do uh, on knowledge management. Uh, I didn't even know much about it, but I developed a passion. So in one of the session, um, where one of the units about the uh, information systems, it was one of the toughest. And I remember all the ladies who were scared to do this uh, to measure into knowledge management. <laughs> but I said, I don't have any other option, but 
to really work hard and do this uh, KM thing. So I developed the passion. And I remember by the time I was finishing my undergraduate, we had around 20 students whom we were majoring knowledge management. And it's so mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. And since that, start, immediately I went to do my master's, um, mm -hmm. which I joined Chomo Kenyatta University of uh, Agriculture and Technology. I did master's in information and knowledge management where I, I finished it last year. So my journey of KM started now rising up. And um, I remember the first conference, by the time I didn't have a job, like, I went to a conference to do a presentation on knowledge management. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the directors, uh, Bukit International, came like, wow, you know how to do a good research, like, yes. And are you good in doing research for knowledge management? Like, yeah. <laughs> and that's how I got my opportunity in the research consultancy firm to do uh, knowledge management within the health sector organizations. So that's how I rose in my career. And then, um, Thereafter, I joined um, the current organization where I'm working as a knowledge management specialist and program mm -hmm. uh, manager. I knew about KM for Death in 2017 when I had organized a knowledge survey for master students who are doing uh, knowledge management at Chihuahua University. Mm -hmm. And during that moment, um, I met with one of the consultants who used to work with the World Bank before. He's a knowledge management specialist. He's called mm -hmm. Tony C. Tony. So Tony took me to him like, yeah, uh, there's a KM for Dev platform, you can join. It's a great platform for various uh, KMers. And then I joined the platform. And it's so amazing, like, yeah, connecting with various KMers across the globe, learning quite a lot. And that is where KM for Dev really, really nurtured me and even built my, um, my capacity in KM. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I think I was. I, I was still young, you know, like I not even uh, uh, finished my master's and yeah. came for Dev uh, appointed me as one of the editorial board member uh, to join wow. the editorial team. You can imagine like, yeah, in Africa, we don't have such space for young mm -hmm. people. It's only for professors like, yeah, mm -hmm. professors, mm -hmm. doctors who have published so many articles, but you know, mm -hmm. this is a platform, came for Dev is a platform that keeps young professionals, young um, leaders to showcase their leadership skills. And that's how my journey, my uh, career growth in knowledge management really grew. I'm so happy and I'm really proud of KM for Dev. Yeah. yeah, well, KM for Dev, everyone go check it out because it sounds like they are giving opportunities to folks that are not normally given those kinds of opportunities. And it, I, one thing I do wanna pause and, and highlight that you mentioned because other uh, videos that I have are focused on helping people find jobs, and you know, get into KM. And one thing you said was you went to an event and you just started talking to people and they started to see your passion. And they, you know, that's that's where you got one of the, the first, you know, stepping stones. And often that that is so important is if you get that one stepping stone, then it's up to you, but you can keep on going, right? And and your story, Gladys, is is so amazing and inspiring. So you, you're now involved in two really powerful, great moving um, organizations. So out of all of the experience that you've had so far in KM, knowledge management, um, what, what are some of your favorite things about KM? What is it that gives you the passion for this? One of the things that makes me to be so passionate about KM is uh, helping people to be successful. It's so amazing, yeah? sharing knowledge with people, helping people to access other learning opportunities that they are not aware about. And I'm really passionate in addressing knowledge risks in organization. If I see something that it can affect the organization, I raise immediately and how do we mitigate such? Mm -hmm. I believe a lot in fostering a knowledge sharing culture because many people, uh, they have different kind of a knowledge that is the passive knowledge that other people might not be aware about it. Mm -hmm. And that is what I'm passionate about, especially people. But yeah, you have a unique knowledge that I don't have. How can we work together as a team? How can we collaborate and share this knowledge uh, to enhance competitive advantage for the organization? What data do you have that we can share? You know, it's kind of that bringing together, being that person is, it, that is the glue, right? To bring not just the people together, but the knowledge that they have and make it actionable, which is what KM is all about. So I, I agree with you. There are problems though. You know, what are some of the things that we can continue to do better or some of the things that we can improve in KM? The things that we need to improve, like maybe uh, influence the leadership team to mm -hmm. accept the knowledge management. Mm -hmm. That yeah, it is something that organizations cannot stay without it. I could Especially not agree more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, and even like, yeah, even in other parts, like uh, it's almost the entire organizations, whether in the learning institutions, in the uh, development sector, mm -hmm. or even in the uh, CSOs, mm -hmm. based organizations, we need uh, knowledge management. We need to address yeah. the knowledge risks that are really uh, affecting organizations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I love that. It's um it's unfortunate that sometimes uh people start their KM journey at their organization because of fear or risk, right? I fear that all of the knowledge that we have is going to, you know, retire. Um, is, is one that I know comes up quite often. So when you have been doing this, if you had advice on what um, kind of approach you can use if you are um, somebody that is in knowledge management and you do want to get that senior leadership um, involved or on board with KM, what are some strategies that, that you would suggest? First of all, you need to communicate. You need to win the trust of all the leadership teams. Don't only approach one leader. But uh, approach came in terms of what are the challenges that are facing organization and how knowledge management can address these uh, knowledge, um, can address these uh, problems to provide solutions to the organization. And that has been my approach, like, yeah, you know, you see a challenge within the organization that has been really pressing the organization for long. And like, yeah, yeah, this is what knowledge management can address. Several times I've tried to um, champion care, but yeah, failing but i never gave gave up at all like yeah no this is something that i'm going to fight for it and did the last two minutes like yeah it's something that i'm so passionate about it's not even about that money that is really more motivating me but mm -hmm. what i love what i'm doing yeah. like yeah the challenges that i see in terms of what the organizations are going to like no as a mm -hmm. knowledge manager i can't stay here and i know we have the solutions to address yeah mm -hmm. so communicate i encourage people keep on communicating keep on winning the other leadership team don't hold the approach uh one leader but yeah it's good you approach from different angles yeah i have yeah. i have a feeling something you, that you are very successful at that you might not even realize maybe you do realize but i bet and i know that this is true even in my own experiences is your positivity, your energy, your passion just shines through. Like you don't have to tell people that you have passion. You can see it in your body language that you're like on fire. You're really excited about this. And I think often you're right when you're talking to those senior leaders, you know, you can say that, you know, knowledge management will save you this much money. It will help you with this much risk. You can kind of be very analytical with it. And you do need some of that data. But I also think that highlighting how you can help people and having that passion, I think really shines through. You can't really discount how effective that can be when you're having that conversation, I think. So Gladys, I know that you also mentioned that you are part of an organization that is trying to uh, help new students, people get involved with knowledge management. Can you tell us a little bit more what what is it that you do to help people? What's the mission? What are you what What are you trying to achieve? Currently, we have the it's a called knowledge, global knowledge partnership network. It's a social platform. Uh, at the moment, we have a Facebook page. Uh, so, uh, I realized that yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, knowledge management opportunities, but we are not aware of especially young professionals in Africa and even the development practitioners. Mm -hmm. So, um, we, uh, we we came up with this platform to bring together all um, youths in Africa and other uh, KM practitioners where they can access the learning opportunities and also knowledge expertise training opportunity with the World Bank on community management training. Mm -hmm. So, where we focus much about communities of practice, how do you build and uh, sustainable uh, COPs and even manage and lead? And we came up, with, I came up with this at the Global Knowledge Partnership Network. And and it's so amazing because yeah, I use it to share what are the learning opportunities in the higher learning institutions, which you can which institutions that you can go and pursue your knowledge management, like yeah, while you're in Africa or while you're in Kenya. So, like in Kenya at the moment, we have one of the best leading university knowledge management. This is at Chomo Kenyatta University of uh, Agriculture and Technology, which okay. I would encourage every student, if you want to pursue knowledge management in Kenya and in Africa, that is the place where you can go. There you go. So, we, have, we have it from the source. Go check it out. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 
So another thing, like, yeah, there's quite a lot of opportunities, like in Came for Dev, uh, no, most of the people, they are not aware that platforms such as knowledge management uh, for community for development exist and hold so World Bank opportunities, like uh, World Bank Corporation for Development, where it's as a group of various knowledge managers and community management workers. And those people were involved in the development sector. There's quite a lot to learn. And also the Real Care Magazine, uh, which is one of the platforms that shares quite a lot of stories and trends in knowledge management. And it's mm -hmm. so amazing, like, yeah, through that, we have so many Africans who have joined the Akem for Dev. Yeah, many of them, they didn't know that it was even aware that, yeah. that, yeah, it existed. So like for Kenyans, we have around more than 70 Kenyans who we are active members at Akem for Dev and other parts of the Africa. When I see them succeeding, it's so, it makes me so happy. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, I, I share your enthusiasm with that. I mean, I think that's why I love to teach. <laughs> you know, you <laughs> see people that don't necessarily even know knowledge management. Um, yeah. when, once they start to figure out what it is, and then you, you kind of help them down that path, um, they, they are really passionate about it and they get very excited about it. So Gladys, what if, if you had one story from um, the the group of, of Kenyans that you're working with, what is one of your favorite um, memories or one of your favorite success stories? Wow, I have so many success stories. Um, That's one a good of the favorites, <laughs> yeah, there are so many of them. I last year I met that um, job seekers, like I don't know them, but through social media, like, hey guys, um, I know these are job opportunities I hear, but I know there are people who are job seekers. Like I give priority to job seekers, young professionals. I need to mentor you on how to, on career side strategies, even how to use your social media to connect you for networking for profession mm -hmm. and to secure job opportunities. Amazing, uh, out of the five that I mentored, that was December last year, all of them, they have gotten job opportunities. One called a job with the UN. Another wow. got a job in one of the US based uh, NGO as a community, uh, as a um, program management coordinator. Another one got a job as a librarian. And another one now, uh, he has started his consultancy, research consultancy, which hovers uh, research services. So it's amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah. Those, are, those are some great success stories. All right, so so Gladys, I, I wanna thank you so much for sharing some of your stories. I hope this is just the first of, or the second, I should say, of, of many conversations with you because you are an absolute joy to talk to. You are doing some really amazing work. And if somebody was interested in supporting or getting involved or checking out what you're doing, how would they do that? At the moment, I have my email where I can share with people. Can and we'll put all of the people. details in the description below so you have, so everybody can get to it. You can find me through uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and also to learn more, you can join our Global Knowledge Partnership Network, where we can engage, learn, and connect with one another. And is that, net, that network is on Facebook as well, correct? Y yes, yes, it is on Facebook. But right. uh, we have a WhatsApp group. So like before you join the WhatsApp group, I have to have taken you through a membership uh, program first and coaching on how I understand your strengths, your skills, mm -hmm. and how I can bring you on board uh, to join with other members. Oh, I love that. So you really do have a hands-on kind of approach to this. I, I really love that. And so we'll put all of that in the description below. So um, everybody that wants to find out, you know, a little bit more about what you're doing can go and, and check that out. And I'm also going to encourage anybody else that is out there in knowledge management, if you know of organizations that are similar to what Gladys is doing, if you have other kind of uh, networking and outreach kind of things, put it in the comments below or message one of us. I know both of us are very interested in, you know, kind of connecting this network of professionals and people that are trying to learn and teach and encourage and support in the knowledge management space. 